This is why I train in martial arts. First up in Maryland, police in Anne Arundel County are still searching for the man who apparently stabbed a woman with a syringe. And we have the shocking new surveillance footage that shows the whole incident up close. Our Melanie onwick has been on this all morning. She joins us live now with more. And this really is just such a disturbing story, Mel. It is terrible. And let me tell you, I just got off the phone with the victim and she's just really shaken up by all of this. But she's also very determined to uh, try to find this guy. It's really making her angry what he did to her and this unknowing for her of what uh, she may or may not be facing health wise. So uh, all of this happened uh, on Tuesday around uh, around 7 p.m. Let's show you the video that Anne Arundel County Police have put out. And you're right. It is completely shocking. She didn't say she said she didn't really know what was happening until she felt it and you can see there the man kind of sneaks up behind her and then uh, you can tell by her reaction that she's in pain uh, and she says that she thought it was a cigarette burn at first and then that suspect even tried to talk to her she told me that he leaned in and said to her I know it feels like a bee sting doesn't it she quickly leaved again left at first she thought it was like again that cigarette burned but she didn't feel a hole in her leggings and so that's when she realized as that injection site started to sting and burn even further she thought oh my gosh someone stuck me uh, she called her son to, to warn him perhaps that uh, you know maybe she'd been injected with drugs she didn't know uh, so again uh, that's why things are just really up in the air for her right now we also talked to some shoppers here outside of Christopher's fine foods and you can imagine they're upset about it too this is why I train in martial arts Okay, a woman got stabbed in Maryland about two weeks before this video. She got stabbed while she was pushing a grocery store. Okay? While she was pushing the grocery store, a man came up on the side and stabbed her. So, two things. One thing, what does it remind you of in your classical Taekwondo karate type styles? And two, Maybe we need to make a modification. First thing, what does it remind you of? So, she's standing here with her hands in front of her, right? That's a lot like June B. So we have a practical real world use for June B. So now, while you're pushing your cart in front of you, think of it as June B. In a lot of our forms, when we have attacks coming to us from the right side, we got him up and attack him with a syringe. So we could just go into what would be Chai G in my style, probably. Basic form one or tag one in your style. If you're not doing type one though. So that would be a down block in the attack. So let me turn here so I'm facing the camera. So if it's coming from the right side, if he's trying to stab you with something, here to parry it away and punch. Okay? She could do that straight in, or she could bury it up a little bit to come off the line and down block and then sort from here and punch. Or anything. Anything come from this side. Here. So, this is one real world instance where you're standing this way with your hand out, just like you're doing when you're at attention, you get your ready position, and something's coming at you from one side or the other. Okay? Now, another thing in terms of maybe we need to modify something, and since a lot of attacks can possibly be prevented by looking around, do we need to do GB like this? Look left and right before we begin the form. Do we need to do that? Because normally what we do is Chile Kunye Jumbi, look to your left and begin. Okay? Her attack came up from the right. A lot of people say, which I agree with, you start on the left side of your body, this is my left side because most people are right hand they attack from the left. Should we do this? People come in and bow in, June B for a tournament, they talk, have them look around. Okay, and sometimes when we start off, instead of starting to the left, sometimes start to the right. Start performing to the right and then continue on from there. Okay? Just food for thought. Down about. Got my hands on my cart, that's my June B. Somebody's coming after me, turn it this way. 
Hey, if somebody's coming at me, I can ram them with the cart too, right? Ram them with the cart. What's that like? That's like this. Okay? I can go on and on. Somebody's coming up behind you, you bow. Use your bow as a pro. So, just fool for thought. And let me make this clear in this video. I'm not blaming the woman for being attacked, okay? I'm not saying that she could have, should have done anything better. Anybody, me, you, anyone in the world can be attacked at any time, can be caught off guard. What I like to do is use real world things to influence what we do so that we can keep what we're doing relevant, change it with the times, and see how to use it when we're out and about. So thanks for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe. Please share this people that talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. In peace. With